If you find yourself without a clear method to manage your work and team, or if perhaps your current system is overly complicated and falling short, this guided tutorial is specifically designed just for you. Today, I'm super excited to share a simple guide that you can start using right away. It is straightforward, the tool you'll be using is free, and I promise you will see results immediately. Now we'll be using parts of an Agile framework which organizes work into consistent two-week cycles. This approach allows you to plan and prioritize tasks, ensuring nothing gets overlooked. Now to get started, simply sign up for a free HeyCollab account at HeyCollab.com. Create a workspace named after your project or department and set up columns for backlog, to-do, doing, and done. If you ever need help setting this up, just book a free call with us at HeyCollab.com. We would love to help you out. Now, once your workspace is ready, under the Backlog column, add all of the tasks that your team will be working on for this project. Once you have this, then you will begin each sprint by moving tasks from Backlog to To-Do, focusing only on what can be achieved within the next two weeks. I want to just add a little bit of clarity here. So essentially you're creating a backlog column and every task that you can think of that is needed for the entirety of this project, you can just go ahead and add it in this column. Again, you don't have to add these tasks all at once. You can add them over the course of two weeks, four weeks, months. It's perfectly fine, but just keep in mind everything that you ever want to do, you're going to add it here to the backlog column. Now, once you are ready to start a sprint, and again, a sprint, it's simply a name for a two week cycle. You want as a team to move tasks from the backlog onto the to do. All that means is that you and your team are going to commit for the next two weeks to complete all of the tasks from the to do column. So as tasks progress, one of the things you'll do is move them to the doing column and eventually to done when completed. Now, to add a bit of clarity here as well, only move tasks to the doing column when they are actually ready to be worked on. Once these are completed, then move them to the done column. Now, one of the things I recommend is that it's crucial to review the tasks in the done column at the end of the sprint as a team to ensure that everything is completed. Now, let's just say something is not completed. You open a task at the end of the sprint and there are certain things that were not done. Not a big deal. All you have to do is move that task either to the to-do column or if it's low priority and your team is not quite ready to work on that in the next sprint, just go ahead and move it to the backlog column. One tip here is it's good to get in the habit of assigning the team that will be working on each task. This just helps add clarity. So if a team member comes onto this board, they know exactly one, what is it that they need to work on? And two, if they have questions about a specific task, they can see who that task is assigned to and reach out to that person directly. So far, we talked about how to manage your work and tasks and how to manage your team. Next, I wanna talk a little bit about communication. And so for communication, we're gonna take a look at asynchronous and synchronous communication. Asynchronous communication is a word that essentially tries to communicate instead of hopping on a call and speaking about things, you can do that through chat. So for daily updates, you can utilize HeyCollab's chat feature. Why? Well, because it's perfect for this type of communication. It allows you to provide updates and feedback without needing everyone online at the same time. The other part is the synchronous communication, and essentially that's real-time discussions. And for this, you can use HeyCollab's integrated video calling. Now, I do recommend that you use it for your sprint planning and retrospective meetings, just to keep everyone aligned and engaged. The last part that I wanna talk a little bit about is documentation. Now, documenting is straightforward with HeyCollab. Essentially, you're creating a doc, and you can add all of the details in terms of the acceptance criteria directly onto that document. And acceptance criteria is just a fancy word to communicate all of the things that need to be completed for that task to be marked as done. So there may be several things that need to be done. And so all of those things, you're gonna put it inside of that document. Two other things that you can do. If you don't wanna create a document, 
and attach it to a task, that's perfectly fine. What you can do is add that acceptance criteria directly to a task details section, or you can add the acceptance criteria bullet points, if you will, as individual subtasks. So what will happen when a team member is ready to work on a task, they will have all of the subtasks listed out that they need to complete in order for that task to be ready to be moved to the done column. Well, <laughs> there you have it. A streamlined approach to manage your work, your communication and documentation. And the best part, it's all under one roof and it's all free. So if you're ready, um, again, I encourage you to visit heycolab.com. And if you have any questions during this process, I wanna encourage you to book a free call with us. We would love to help you out.